What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos, bringing you another Division 2 best solo PvE build video, and we're going to be going over an amazing Umbra Initiative hybrid skill build. Did that dumbass really just catch itself on fire? That was great. Okay, we gotta recharge that mo uh, umbra up. Regenerate some armor real quick. And the Memento backpack is still not even built up, so my stacks aren't even at max yet. This build is going to start hitting harder and harder as we go along. Let's go grab some of these tags and um, push on to another little area where there's some hostiles at so we can go ahead and take care of those fuckers. What I like to do first is, you know, I like to go through all my build videos and do some gameplay, show you guys how the build works and everything, so you guys can see if, you know, if you're going to like it. We're always on Heroic, of course. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, shit. We can catch that. Let's go ahead and chase that thing down. Maybe get some kills along the way. So one thing I do like about this build is, okay, so being a tier 4 skill build, you still your skills do a lot of damage still. And it's not tier 6, but tier 2. I mean, tier 4, they still do good damage. And I got a striker drone and an assaulter turret. So I got constant uh, skill damage going down range. And that is amplifying my weapon damage by 30% and my skill damage by 30% in return when I'm using my assault rifle. So that's like two things that just make this build just go so well together all right i'm just gonna have to get up on this shit real quick and then of course the rate of fire with in sync is just insanely fast like i mean it makes any weapon you got just completely overpowered along with uh, i believe um, when we're at max stacks with umbra we are hitting at 190 critical hit damage, 57 critical hit chance, and that's tier 4 skill build, 1.1 mil armor with bonus armor from the Memento, and shit, I didn't want to deal with you guys. <laughs> I really thought those fuckers were going to shoot at me. Oh shit, did I really just chase this whole thing down for nothing? Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. There we are. We can aggro them now. Let them aggro come back to us, and we will go ahead and just push up on there and smoke them once this uh, Umbra generates stacks. I did not mean to do that right there.
Well, shit, that was pretty fun. Alright, so you guys see the Memento is almost at its max stack. So let's see what else we got going on over here. Boom. Let's go chase that shit down real quick. Actually... We're going to hit that one. That'll be a little bit easier for us to do. If you guys want to skip ahead maybe 30 seconds, you'll get right to the uh, combat footage. Or you guys can just continue watching and chopping it up in chaos. So anyway, what's going on with everybody, bro? Today, this shit really sucks, man. We got our apparel event pushed out another three weeks. They have been doing that both of these seasons, pushing out the apparel events. We have no event for, what, two weeks, I think it said? Bro, that sucks, dude. We have nothing going on in Division 2. With that kind of uh, time setback, bro, it's killing the game. And it really sucks, dude, because I love Division, but uh, it's starting to get really old, dude. There's no new content. They're not giving us expansion. Um, I mean, Fairview Power Plant uh, Countdown, that shit was pretty cool, but... I want an expansion into the storyline. More missions, you know? Anyway, on with the gameplay. Let's see. How close is this? Dude, there's just resource convoys fucking everywhere. Ugh, this map is popping today. You know, I just did all that and then I'm still at the same distance as I was if I would have chased the other one down. But I guess the difference is, is they're coming my way. So I'm kind of going to like meet them halfway. After we're done with this one, we'll go ahead and go over the build because my Memento will be stacked out enough for you guys to see where I'm at. Alright, let's go get this convoy, bro, and then we will be ready to go over the build. And also, we're going to switch to the Kingbreaker real quick. Bro, look at that Kingbreaker, dude. Oh my god. But that does kind of take away the purpose of having in sync and double skills and tier 4 skills. So I do like to run my, uh, my M4 with in sync on it. Where the hell is my drones all the way down there? Thank you. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab these resources real quick. Then I'm going to do like this. We're going to generate. Okay, we got a tag right there. What we're going to do is generate the critical hit damage. I'm going to grab the tag, and then we're going to go onto the weapon and see where we're at. I'll just show you how we do this. All right, this is going to be for the M4. All right, look at that right there. M4, 1,092 rounds per minute. That is insane, bro. 109K weapon damage at 1,092 rounds per minute. With 1.1 mil armor on there and in sync. In sync, hitting an enemy with your weapon and your skill does double damage for skill damage and double damage for weapon, which is 30% weapon damage and 30% skill damage. If you're only using one or the other at a time, it'll be 15% skill damage. Or vice versa, you guys know you guys, uh, how Instinct works, I'm sure. Alright, so that's pretty awesome right there. That 30% weapon damage and 30% skill damage when we're already at 1,092 rounds per minute. And 190k weapon damage, that's going to hit hard, dude. Um, so, let me see. The King Breaker, you guys can see we're at 835 rounds per minute. With 145k weapon damage. Which is pretty beast, too, so... You know, if you guys could always pull out that King Breaker, which is probably one of the best guns in the game, hand down, hands down. Um, all right. Now let's go down to the skills. I told you I'm running a tier four skill build. So we are at, um, tier four uh, does 60% damage. Tier four does, uh, eight, or yeah, was that 80? Yeah, 80% 80 damage, my bad. It's kind of hard to fucking see right here. Yeah, 80% damage on the skills. So we got Assault Turret and an Assault Drone. This is so that way we can keep NSYNC constantly going. Um, if you use just the drone, then your drone dies and NSYNC becomes uh, pointless, right? You got to have something that's constantly hitting with your skills for NSYNC to work good. All right, we got the Memento Backpack on with 15% weapon damage, armor damage, skill tier, and critical hit damage mod on here with kill confirmed. As you kill enemies, they drop a tag. You pick up a tag, and it starts adding a stack to your build, and uh, when you're at max stacks, you will have 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and 3% armor regeneration, and this does last for 300 seconds, but if you keep collecting tags, it will refresh your buff, so you don't really ever have to lose Memento as long as you're stacking kills. Um, you also will be getting a short-term buff with it, which is every time you grab a tag, this will last 10 seconds. With this build, you'll be getting 15% weapon damage, 15% uh, skill efficiency, and 20% bonus armor. Alright, we got Picaro's Holster, which has skill haste on there, armor, uh, critical hit chance, and weapon damage. It's like a baby memento. Alright. And then we got the uh, Umbra Initiative Mask with... Uh, Skill tier on there, critical hit damage, critical hit damage mod. Gloves, weapon damage, critical hit damage. Uh, knee pads, skill tier, critical hit chance. And then we got the uh, chest piece, weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit chance mod. And then from the shadows into the light. So we got on the Umber Initiative will give us 15% critical hit chance. 30% reload speed and from the shadows into the light, which uh, while you're in cover, you gain 10 stacks per second up to 50 stacks. But with from the, with the chest piece on, that'll be gaining 20 stacks per second up to 100 stacks. Each stack will give you 1% critical hit damage and an increase of rate of fire by 0.3%, which comes out to 100% critical hit damage and 30% rate of fire increase. Buff does not apply while you are in cover. You do have to leave cover for this buff to activate. So, and it only takes five seconds to generate it to max stack. So you hop in cover, then exit out when you want to put in some work. While you're out of cover and in combat, you will also generate. Whoa, 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 whoa! Really, dude? Fucker. Oh, damn. That was a bad way to do that. Hold on, let's finish these fuckers off real quick. Fuckers. Alright, where were we? Oh, yeah, so as you guys can see, 
when you're in combat, you also generate a stack of um, uh, bonus armor repair. So when you go back into cover, it'll repair 40% of your bonus armor. And that takes five seconds to repair it. So you generate that. It's not active when you're out of cover. But when you go into cover, you're regenerating your uh, critical hit damage and rate of fire. But you're also regenerating your armor when you return to cover too. So it's pretty awesome. I love the Umbra build. One of my favorite builds, hands down. And then you guys got the Technician Specialization, which gives us a linked laser for the Kingbreaker. And also an extra skill tier for the Tier 4 hybrid build. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the build. Most definitely... Uh, would love to hear that, and I will catch you guys on the next video.